Assistant Professor Urmi Shah from ITICT Department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's session, we will be continuing with our fourth session of Telecommunication Engineering subject continuing with chapter number one that is Electronic Systems and its switching techniques. So let's move ahead with this unit. Up till now we have understood what is telecommunication, what are the applications of telecommunication engineering. Then we saw about what is switching system, how switching system can be classified. So we had an overview about the switching system. From today's session, we will be moving ahead in depth of different types of electronic switching system. So let's move ahead with this topic. So basically, in this session, these are the following topics that I am going to cover. That is functions of switching system, classification of switching systems, stored program control exchange. So these are the following topics that I am going to cover in today's session. So basically in the last section or in the last session we discussed regarding what is a switching system. So something which connects as a media between two or more devices or two or more systems that can be related as a switching network. Now what are the roles, what are the functions of switching system? So basically, the switching office performs the following basic functions irrespective of the system, whether it is manual or electromechanical or electronic switching system. So these are the three different types of switching system which we saw in the previous section that easily you can manually operate a switch or you can have an automation in your switching system. So these are the two types and in automation also we had two categories that is electromechanical and electronic switching systems. So basically this is an overview of switching system. Now the basic functions of a switching system first includes identity. So basically identity here has a role like the local switching center must react to the calling signal from calling subscriber and must be able to receive information to identify the required destination terminal C's. So this thing simply means that the switching center or the switching office must be able to react whenever a call has been initiated by the caller and the calling subscriber is able to receive it or not up to the received destination or the required destination. So that is the role of identity. It actually identifies the caller and the calling subscriber. So next function of switching system includes addressing. Now basically addressing simply means if some person is calling to you then you are able to address him or her or not that is the addressing term. So in technical terms the switching system must be able to identify the called subscriber from the input information. Whosoever is calling or whosoever is the caller you must be able to identify and you must be able to address the caller. That is the role of addressing. The next function is finding and path setup. Once the calling subscriber destination is identified and the call subscriber is available, an accept signal is passed to the switching system and calling subscriber based on the availability suitable path will be selected. So basically you have a caller and the person whom you have to call. So there are two person between them we have to initiate the calling process. So basically the caller is going to initiate the call and the person who is going to receive the call is going to 
have the hold that if he or she can uh, pick the call whether a certain or specific number or, or the certain person is going to call them or not based on the availability at that time if the path if the connection between the two person is available if no other calls are going on if the line is not busy then only the path will be connected between the two person in our mobile phones also if i am going to call a person and that person is already talking to some other person then we have a notification voice that the person whom you are trying to call is busy so that is actually the path which is actually busy whom you are going to connect so that's why whenever you are initiating a call the path must be empty so that it can be established it can be set up between the caller and the calling person so this is the role of finding and path set up in a switching system now next thing is busy testing so basically what is busy testing in busy testing if number dialed by the calling subscriber is wrong or the call subscriber is busy he or she is not attending the phone or the terminal may be free lifting the phone but no response is coming or the person is not willing to receive the call at that time a switching system has to pass a correspondence or corresponding voice message or a busy tone after waiting for some time so this is actually what we actually have whenever we are trying to call someone and that person is busy talking to the other person so this functions you all are already familiar with as we all are using mobile phones so these are the various functions of switching system in addition to this the another function is supervision so basically what is supervision once the path is set up between the calling and the called subscriber it should be supervised in order to detect answer and clear down conditions and recording of billing information so basically the role of supervision is for how much duration the call was initiated how much time the caller and the called subscriber talked with each other that record has to be maintained for billing purpose or for any kind of recharge purpose so that is the role of supervision so that is noting down the total time the caller and the calling person answered and they had the initiation of the information now what is clear down you all might be wondering in the previous definition what is clear down clear down basically means the path which was initiated as a connection between the two phone or the two telephone or two mobile networks that has to be cut down after the information exchange is over so clear down means you are disconnecting the call when the established call is completed the path setup should be disconnected so that is the role of clear down moving ahead the next functions include billing now billing is done based on the number of connections are developed and for the number of duration time so the switching system is going to maintain a track record of all the phone calls which were initiated by the caller and the calling subscriber and what are the total durations what are the total days how much time the call was initiated so all the track records has to be maintained by the biller so in a switching system should have a mechanism to meter to count the number of units made during the conversation the cumulative number of units made for particular duration by the calling subscriber is calculated this information and if any should be sent to the called subscriber so after the call is completed you have a sms that you talk for 3 minutes or 5 minutes so total call cost deducted is 5 rupees such message is displayed whenever we are disconnecting the call so that is the role of biller now let's understand the next topic that is 
classification of switching system how basically the switching systems are classified so in early days the human exchange provided switching facilities switching facilities in the term exchange of information via a media that is our telephone network in manual exchanges a human operator and the elements like switches plug and sacks are used to connect two subscriber around 1890s many electromechanical switching devices were introduced so this was the history about the switching system till 1940 different electromechanical switching systems were invented like stroger and crossbar switching system now what is stroger and what is crossbar switching system that we will be seeing in the upcoming next part so basically this is the classification of switching system switching systems are classified in two parts that is manual and automatic and in automatic also we have further classification that is electromechanical and electronic the later inventions of electronic switching system which uses stored program control and computer control switching system are presently dominating the world wide exchanges now what is the stored program control and computer control switching system that we will be seeing when we will be learning about the electronic switching system but these are the widely used rest of them are not using nowadays time so the first one is the stored program control exchange in 1965 bell system installed the first computer controlled switching system which uses a stored program digital computer for its control functions now the spc concepts permits the features like abbreviated dialing call forwarding call waiting so this were the extra features which were added by the spc exchange switching system the spc provides significant advantages to end users so basically stored program control exchange had maintain a record that what are the previously added calls what is call forwarding call waiting those features were added by the spc exchange switching system the spc enables easier number changes automated call tracing unit accounting etc so basically if you want to change your mobile number if you are going to some other state or other country at that time this was the technique which was uh, used to change your mobile number that is actually what we call portability in today's time but in portability we are keeping the number same just we are changing the sim card user that is either you are changing it from airtel to vodafone so this was a kind of uh, stored program exchange that if you want to change the network user or you want to change the mobile number so at that time this were the options available from stored program control section in stored program control a program or a set of instructions are stored in its memory and executed automatically one by one by the processor so basically in stored program control here you are having the storage of all the instructions and after one after other the instructions are executed by the processor carrying out the exchange control functions to program control or to program stored in the memory of a computer led to the name stored program control so this is about the basics of spc in that a computer can be programmed to test the conditions of the inputs and last states and decide on new outputs and state so this is all basics about spc the decisions that are expressed as programs in spc can be rewritten to modify or extend the functions of control system all switching systems 
manufactured for use as public switching system now use computers and software programming to control the switching of calls so this was about the basics of spc in the previous time all the thing or all the recording was done manually but after that spc was introduced to reduce human efforts and to have kind of automation or controlling by a processor to have an automation in the field of telecommunication so following are the references for the topics which we have covered today you can refer any of this books for the topics we have discussed in this session in the upcoming session we will be moving forward with a more concepts of telecommunication engineering thank you so much for watching this session thank you very much